Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Man Whitney test. Today we will look at the details of the Man Whitney test and how it is done on Minitab. Man Whitney test is used to check whether the population medians of two groups differ. It also calculates a range of values that is likely to include the difference between the population mediums. It uses the ranks of the sample data instead of their specific values. We will see in a while how we rank the absolute values. We use this test when x is discrete and y or the dependent variable is continuous. Assumptions for this test are that samples are drawn independently from each other and two variables are not normally distributed. Null hypothesis for a man whitney test is eta 1 equals eta 2 and alternative hypothesis could be either not equal to, greater than or less than, depending on whether it is a two-tailed or one-tailed test. Eta 1 is the median of the first population and eta 2 is the median of the second population. Test statistic for a man whitney test is called the W value and is the sum of the ranks of the first sample. We rank the two combined samples. We give the smallest observation rank 1, the second smallest rank 2 and so on. If at any point of time two or more observations are tied, we assign average rank to both of them. And then we sum up the ranks of the first sample. That is how we arrive at the W value or the test statistics for a man Whitney test. Rejection criteria is basis the comparison between the test statistic and the critical value that is calculated from statistical tables using the sample sizes of the two groups. If test statistic is less than the critical value, then we reject the null hypothesis. Let's make a note here that the rule is a little different. We use the less than criteria here instead of greater than as in the previous tests of hypothesis that we have seen till now. Here are the steps to conduct a man whitney test and we are familiar with these steps from our previous videos on hypothesis testing so we will not discuss them again. Great, let me bring up a scenario here from our very own lives. Say for example that we are looking for a job change and we need to decide which company to try first basis their salary structure, basis what they offer to us as compensation. This means that we want to compare the payrolls of these two companies to determine whether their median salaries differ. Bingo, now we can use a man Whitney test to get an answer to your question. So you know what to do now going forward. Well, now let's quickly see how do we conduct a man Whitney test on Minitab. We click STAT, Non-Parametrics and Man Whitney. We then enter the first sample and second sample from the left pane and then set the confidence level and alternative hypothesis to not equal. Minitab normally does the test at 95% level of confidence. If we wish to change this percentage, we can change it in the confidence level box. And now here is the sample Minitab output, which is the descriptive statistics. We are primarily concerned with the p-value here. Very important to remember now that here the p-value is adjusted for ties. The ties that we talked about while assigning ranks and averages to the sample values that we had. So remember that p-value here is adjusted for ties. So if p-value is less than the significance level, which is alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. This means that there is a statistically significant difference between the medians of two groups. With this, we conclude our discussion on man Whitney test today. Thank you very much for your time and please do get in touch with me for any queries or feedback. You can also subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos. 
stay tuned for our next video on non-parametric tests till then enjoy learning bye bye